Okay, let's talk about composition this week. Composition is the way the parts or elements that we brought up last week of the drawing are arranged in the given space. So inside the frame of your drawing, whatever that is, uh, whether it's paper or canvas or a photo, uh, if we're talking about photography. The elements of drawing, as a reminder, are line, shape, value, form, texture, and color. Here are some uh, key terms for you guys to keep in mind as we go through this lecture. Uh, remember, you do want to um, work on studying these terms. That way you guys have the same verbiage uh, when you go to talk about art. So we're going to discuss positive space, negative space, harmony, variety, balance, visual weight, and focal points. To start off with positive and negative space, positive space is the object, figure, figure uh, tangible thing or things in a composition. The negative space is the space that exists between, around, and behind the positive forms. So in this example, the black uh, rectangle is the frame of the drawing, uh, and the positive space text is the positive space. Uh, the rest of the white space behind the text is the negative space. Also, all of the space between the letters, so in the, the opening of the P, the opening of the O, of the E, all of these areas are also negative space. I just wanted to give you guys an example of a circular composition. Uh, for this class, we're going to be working with rectangular compositions, uh, with the exception of your final project is more open-ended. Uh, but just something to keep in mind, your drawing and painting surfaces don't need to be square or rectangle. They can be circular or any shape you'd like. And then let's talk about positive and negative space in terms of this piece by Kim Dingle. Uh, so the obvious negative space is the background there, the positive space being the baby. Um, uh, and then I did want to talk to you guys about the balance of this composition. It's fairly well balanced, right? The positive space taking up about the bottom half of the drawing, if you kind of like go in here, if we think about the amount of black area here versus the amount of like white and red area here, it's fairly even. Not exactly, but it's uh, generally well balanced. Um, uh, okay, so we mentioned that this background space being negative space, the figure here obviously being positive space, but what about the blanket? Uh, does it fall under positive or negative space? I know you guys aren't there to answer, but just something to think about. The blanket is both positive and negative space. So it's negative in terms of the baby, right? Because it's the space that's not being taken up. And positive in terms of the background and overall composition of the drawing. It's an example of negative space being used for psychological impact. These are huge drawings by Toba Kadori. I don't know if anyone saw them. Um, they were here at LACMA uh, several years ago now. 